John Bennett here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about having a repository of songs ready for you to remix um, at any given time. So I've got a new project open here, and let me kind of explain uh, how this works. So I will typically be mixing, I, I always convert songs to a specific BPM and I keep them in a folder. So all of my songs are at 145 BPM. Now my project may end up being slower or faster. I will end up using various speed to make that adjustment. But I want to have a repository of songs that I can just grab, I can throw in, I can create a mashup really quickly. And I don't have to fuss with, you know, grabbing um, songs and messing with the, the tempos too much. I just want to be able to grab and go. So I have a folder where I keep all of my songs that I pull that I've used in projects. And I keep them there because I often will go back to it and use that folder. So let's take a look. Here is that folder. It's called, I called it Converted Audio. And it has all of the songs that I have converted, you know, over the past good while here. I, don't, I think I archived some of them. Because when you, when you make the change in Logic Pro, it turns them into an AIF file. So you have an MP3 file that ends up starting at 3 megabytes, ends up being like 30 or 40 megabytes. But to give you an idea how this works, let's just, let's just say... I wanted to do a mashup of Rockstar and Headbands, two things. Just this is just random. So I've got two songs put in here. Now, normally, the process and the workflow you've you've been taught in other videos is that you're going to have to match the BPM to the project first. In this case, we've shortcutted that. We already know they match. So let's go ahead. We've got them in here. The only thing we got to do is line them up with the grid and begin our remix. So let's do that real quick. So that's the one, the downbeat right there. Can't miss it. By the way, um, if it looks like I'm doing this quickly, it's just, it becomes a practice. Okay, so that's lined up. Let's go over to the headbands and see about that one. There's the kick. We'll bring that to a one count. I can see the kick there. Okay. Now let's say we wanted this remix this a little too fast. Change this very speed up here. 130 or whatever you want. And if you're wondering about very speed, you can check that in. I've got a couple other videos that you can just um, look for and you can find those. So now we got. Okay. So let's just, just for fun, put these two together real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time remixing this, but I want to get you the idea how quick it can be to just drag two things out of the converted folder here. Okay. What if I just took this and then copy it over here to the this downbeat? Take that out because that whistle is kind of interesting, right? So we got now we got. So that's not the coolest part. The coolest part is that this entire folder I have here. I'm actually going to share this folder with my VIP members because it's in Dropbox, and um, you know I try to hook up my VIP members on on LogicProX.net with all of my plugins, my presets, and um, it just dawned on me that I have this like several gigabytes folder that you can literally come in here and grab these, um, grab whatever you want, pull it in your project. You know it's at 145 BPM set your project to 145 BPM, then vary speed it to whatever you want. So 
like if I want this even, if I want to go back to 150 BPM, okay? So anyway, you get the idea. So um, if you're not a VIP member, we are going to be closing that up soon because it's almost full. I think um, you're going to close it or raise the price back to normal, which is like 49 bucks a month. And I think right now you can get in for only 9 bucks a month. So if it's not closed yet, do take advantage of that. And I hope to see you on the inside.